Hi and welcome to the Ultimate App Maker. In this training video here, I want to talk about how to create your first Kindle app for Amazon. So the first thing you need to do, step number one, is sign up to become a Kindle app developer through Amazon. So what you're going to do, I did a quick search here, Kindle app developer, and the first thing that comes up is Amazon Developer Services, developer.amazon.com. So what we'll do is click on this. Okay, and we get taken to uh, all the information about Amazon apps becoming a developer. But if you scroll down here, what we want to look for is this, register for free Amazon developer account. Click into this. All right, and simply register now. So you'll fill all the information and become a developer for free. So now that you're a registered developer, the next thing we need to do is actually start creating an app for Kindle. Okay, and you could do this backwards if you want. If you want to create the app first, then become a developer, you can definitely do that. That's up to you. But the first thing we're going to do is when we're logged into the Ultimate App Maker, we're going to see this page here. It's going to be a list of all the different templates that are available through the system. First thing we're going to do is click on Templates at the top, and it's just going to get, allow us to break down these templates through categories and searching. helps us navigate a little easier. So click on Templates at the top here, and you can see what I'm talking about here. You can see all the different categories. We can start building with a blank template, sports, restaurants, entertainment, business, design, events ton of different categories or we can actually search here for a particular template we want to use or if you want to scroll down here you can see all the latest templates that we've recently launched and if you actually click into these images you can actually see what these templates are all about click on this one here you can see this home page what it looks like click on this image here you can see this menu option what this page looks like here the menu and click through these different images to see what these templates are all about when you decide to choose one, let's say we want to use this BizApp template here, click on Select. All right, we're going to get another image of what this template looks like. We're going to click on Use as Template. And now we just need to name our template. So I'm going to call this Biz Kindle. All right, let's say we leave a space here. I go Biz space Kindle. It's going to give us an error. So if you see this invalid app error, all you got to do is just remove that space. I don't know why it's not letting me edit that there we go okay so biz kindle remove that space and now we can create here we got the option to choose our device we want to build our app for we can start with iphone ipad android kindle or web app since we're obviously making a kindle app we're going to use this one here click on kindle and then click on next so now we got the option of do we want tabs the tab menu and what these are these are the little icons at the bottom of the app so right now it's a set at standard tab automatically with this template. We got the option of custom tabs, which allows us to upload our own icons, or we have option of no tabs, which is going to be just basically a home page. All right, so I'm going to keep it the same. Go to standard tabs and then click on next. Okay, so this is we uh, we get a little glimpse of the Kindle app here on the left hand side, and we got some configuration options. I'm just going to reduce the size of my page here so I can fit all those options in. So we got the theme. So what a the theme does is if you click on this light here, right now it's selected as light, if you click on dark, you can see this top bar changes. And that's going to be the theme. Okay, right now if we click on light with dark bars, it's going to be the same as dark. Or we can actually customize this a little further, click on this drop down and select a different color here. So let's say we want to go with, well because this template's red, let's go with red. And we're going to select this red. If you have a color code, you can actually paste it, your color code right in here. I'm going to click on choose and you can see it. it's going to be customized now with red. It was great about this feature is you can really brand your app depending on what color your graphics are on your website or inside your app you want to have. It kind of gives it that little extra little bit to make your app stand out. Okay, so now that we I'm going to actually go back to uh go back to light. This is I think the standard option with this template. Uh we got the option now for content styles where we can adjust font size, text color, background color even put a background image in. Because we have a template, I'm going to ignore this, but if you're going to use a blank template, you can go in here and really customize everything you want. App icon. What an app icon is, this is one of the most important parts of your app. This is what actually shows up on your user's phone. You can see in the example image here what an app icon is. You've got a ton of these on your phone right now. Those are all app icons. You're going to be able to create your own, upload it into the system here, and this is what your user is going to see. I've got other training videos that uh, will cover this in further detail, so I'm going to skip this for now. Okay, splash page. What a splash page is, it's a loading page for your app. I'm sure you've seen it before when you downloaded Pokemon Go. When you first opened up the app, they had that Niantic page. It's the branding, the company of the, the created the app. 
That's what a splash page is. It's the first page that loads up when you open your app. So you have the option to put this one in here if you want, or you can exclude it. You don't even need to include one, but it gives you the option. Again, I'm gonna cover this in further detail in other training videos. The next option here is app pages. So these are all the pages that come pre-populated in this template. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this for now because we can actually customize these in a different section later on. Click on done. And now we get to the app control panel for this particular app where we can control everything about it. We've got all the in-app resources here, those are all the images and files. Down below here we got edit pages so we can actually go ahead and start editing these different pages inside the app, adding new ones, deleting some, whatever we want to do. Page settings, these are going to be settings for these individual pages. If we want to, let's say we want to add uh, advertising to those pages, we would do that here. Design properties, you can actually edit the CSS of this particular template. Navigation settings allows you to actually customize these uh, tabs at the top. Uh, these are the menu icons. If you click into this, you can actually edit those through navigation. Application settings, these are going to be advanced features for your app. Amazon App Store properties, these are going to be, allow you to kind of customize your App Store listing for the Amazon Store. We're going to ignore that for now. When you actually publish your app, you can actually do those then. And the next thing is push notifications. If you want to set up or send push notifications to your users, you would do that here once your app is live and published. But what we're going to do next in the next video is I'm going to show you how to actually start editing this template. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.